We talk a lot about having an appetite for justice. What does that mean? It means things like this. It means standing up for what's right, even when it's unpopular. It's about championing things like equality, fairness, and standing against discrimination. When we have an appetite for justice, we, we use our voices to speak out against that injustice and work towards creating a more inclusive and equitable world. And, and this is so much more than attending an event or watching a movie or reading a book or writing a check. Your appetite is something that you have to satisfy every single day. Lou Malnati's pizza is the standard against which all other pizza is measured. And growing up in my home near Chicago, Lou's for dinner meant that we had to order our day around that glorious slab of bread and cheese and sausage and sauce. Appetites order our world. They shape our agendas. They set our daily priorities. We pay attention to our appetites every day, hourly sometimes. Thoughts of food and drink are, are never far from our minds. But he, here's my point. Insatiable appetites for injustice, for power, for control, for violence are destroying our communities at every level. And we can't restore our communities without an equally strong appetite for the flourishing of every human being. This is perhaps the greatest challenge for men to order our lives around something bigger than ourselves or our reputations or our careers, our power, our position and our privilege. It's the nature of toxicity to destroy the connections that create vibrant and healthy life. Those connections exist at the cellular level, but they also exist relationally. And the current dominant masculine narrative is, is toxic, it's poisonous, it's, it's corrosive. And until that toxicity is addressed and challenged, the bonds of healthy community can't be sustained. Men and women remain estranged. So the way I see it, the challenge before us is nothing short of gender reconciliation. So let's be mindful of the threat of toxic masculinity, but let's also look beyond it towards a more generative, life-giving vision of what it means to be a man. A man marked by humility that, that shakes him to the core and then breaks his heart and then draws out of him the best kind of strength. Then it inflames this holy appetite to make the world a better place.